This is uh, a new segment we're starting on our show today called Top Talkers that will air every day at this time. And of course, the hosts, we will rotate through this, uh, this segment. Today, I get to the pleasure of kicking it off. What it's all about is talking uh, about some of the big stories of the day, what's making news, what people would be talking about around the water cooler, if you will. And every day, we will be joined by some of our colleagues here in this building at 87 George Street, folks from CTV News, CFRA, the Team 1200, Magic 100, and 93.9 Bob FM. So let me introduce you to our first guests. Uh, to my right there, we have CTV News uh, at noon anchor, Michael Laburn, for joining us. We have CFRA business editor, John Brenner, and uh, Cub with Companies uh, on 93.9 Bob FM, Melanie Adams. Thank you all for joining us. Hi. Our pleasure. Thanks for being here. Our top one today, which uh, developed throughout the morning, was uh, Lance Armstrong. Mm -hmm. It's been one of our top stories. Uh, as you know, in the news, as we've reported this morning, uh, the uh, International Cycling Union now banning him for life and stripping Lance Armstrong of his seven Tour de France titles. Big news in uh, the world of sport. Big news story to begin. Let's start with your opinion on this, what you think of this developing story, and uh, as Lance Armstrong is calling it, a witch hunt. Uh, wonderful. Your take? I, th I think it's wonderful, and it's not enough. This man is worth $125 million. Mm -hmm. He made it all through cheating. I hope more is done. My opinion is I hope more is done to him. I hope they find that there's something illegal through this whole process because he must have taken money from some, some organization that he shouldn't have taken money from. I, I think it's, it's just deplorable what Lance Armstrong has done, and this is the very least that they could do in my opinion. Now he says he, he didn't do it, he's yeah. never admitted to any doping mm -hmm. of all these allegations, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no test to prove that he did. John, what do you think? Well, you know, speaking of what Michael was talking about, despite everything we've seen and what the USDA, USADA has shown, and uh, what the testimony uh, told us, 4,300 people turned out to see Lance Armstrong in Texas on yeah. the weekend. Presumably yeah. they're fans. Yeah. Presumably they have already forgiven him. And, uh, you know, in an era where Nixon was uh, rehabilitated, I wonder how soon it will be before Lance Armstrong lands on his two feet again. We've been wondering about that this morning, and some in our newsroom already saying everybody loves a, a comeback kid and a hero. And Mel, do you think that's possible? Does he have a chance of coming back and winning our hearts again? Not when it comes to his sport. I think he's done. Uh, but I, I think that even if he did do this, he, he still strikes me as someone who is a good person. Like you can't define someone by the worst thing they've ever done, if this is what he did. And he still has done a lot of good to uh, help out people with cancer and cancer research and just the overall health. I mean, a lot of people, they, they follow the Live Strong and they're, they're stronger people for it. Did he do something dumb? Yeah, probably. But I think there are bigger criminals in the world to worry about than a guy who took drugs and rode a bicycle. So well, everything you know. he's done has been done under false pretenses. Though. I think it just throws a cloud over everything that he's accomplished for all those years and all the wonderful things that he's mm -hmm. done for so many people. There's this big dark cloud over it. Over the know. Livestrong Foundation? O over yeah. everything, I believe. How, how's that yeah. going to affect that charity now? He, he's raised uh, $500 million for cancer research mm -hmm. in over 15 years. As you mentioned, John, they were celebrating that anniversary over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Can that charity now survive with this cloud over top? I hope so. I mean, it would it would be a shame to take away something good because of something bad, and, and to say, well, he was a bad person, so to heck with everything he did and, and toss it out. I hope it does continue to do well. You know what I think the saddest thing of all of this is, mm -hmm. is that we're in a time now where we lack leadership. We lack leadership on so many levels uh, that it's unfortunate that someone who was looked up to by so many people, including the young people of today, uh, see this take place and you know once again find themselves questioning uh, those who they put their trust in those who they look to uh, to set an example uh, for them mm -hmm. uh, personally and I, I think that's just, that's that's the the worst part of all of this. He's also a father he's uh, you know uh, an icon in sport what does this do for the sport and and for those uh, you know iconic figures in in sport that we see out there <laughs> Are they really that great after all if in the end we're finding they're, out they're doping? They're just like everyone else and I think maybe this will uh, deter some of them from doing this in the future because they're seeing a guy who was never actually found to have tested positive for something get busted so they know that they can get hung now. They can get caught doing this and maybe that will entice them not to. It but, probably won't. But, but No, what will entice <laughs> them is the money. Yeah. It's all about the money. This, yeah. this is all about greed and how often now Whenever we hear of someone who's done really well in a sport or really well in life, one of our first thoughts is, 
geez, I wonder if they cheated, or if it's in sports, I wonder mm. if they're on drugs. Are we going to think that Everything now? is thrown into question. Yeah. Everything. You see, this This is why wrestling is the perfect sport, because we know it's fake right <laughs> off the bat, right? <laughs> it's a win-win, <laughs> exactly. All right, well, I think it's been a really good chat. This, of course, just uh, one of many topics that we'll be talking about on this new segment here, Top Topics, on our show. I want to thank our first guests, Melanie, uh, John, and Michael, for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank we you. will see them again on this on this segment.